Here we have a 2009 BMW X5 30D M Sport in black. Starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth looking at a good 4 to 5 millimetres there. Looking at the offside front alloy. Taking a good look at the condition around the alloy. You've got a minor little mark on the outside edge there. Looking around the rest of the alloy, there's no real sign of any curving or any scuffs at all to the alloy. So lovely condition for its age. Looking down the offside of the vehicles, so you're in a good look down the bodywork, looking on both front and rear door. Uh, I personally cannot see any dinks or dents at all down there. Looking around the offside front arch, there's obviously one or two light stone chips around here. We'll need a bit of a, a touching. Um, definitely need a bit of a polish, there's one or two light scratches. Again, none of them are very heavy, so should have no issue getting them out. Uh, one or two light stone chips on the driver's mirror. As you can see, it's missing the uh, three here on the 30D, so again, just Going to need probably a new little badge. Um, some stone chips located all around the driver's door as you can see as we move along here there's quite a few stone chips so definitely require um, some touch-ins there, a bit of paint. Door edge itself, one or two minor touch-ins on the door edge. Sills, there's a couple of light scratches here, you've got the rear privacy glass. This looks aftermarket as it's very dark um, as you can see from the video. Roof bars on top, rear door, again you've got the stone chips around the rear arch which is very common with the X5, you can see quite a good chip there in the paint, um, some lighter stone chips down here and again just a bit of a polish on the door, paint looks pretty good for its age though and again that's just a bit of dirt, that's fine. Moving towards the uh, rear quarter here again, just a couple of light scratches, we'll need a little bit of polish, no sign of any apparent damage though. And looking at the rear tyre, easily a good 6mm here. This looks very new, as you can see there on the video. Plenty of tread. Looking at the rear alloy, taking a good look at the condition here. A couple of scratches around the alloy, but there's no sign of any um, curbing or scuff marks at all around here, as you can see. And moving towards the rear end of the car. Looking at the rear bumper here, you can see you've got rear parking sensors. Uh, a little bit of lack of peel coming off around the sensor there. One or two minor little touch-ins on the rear bumper, as well as a good mop and polish on the loading bay. You've got quite a few light scratches there. Same with the boot as well, you've got light scratches all around the boot. But again, no signs of any damage at all there. So again, a couple of touch-ins and a bit of a mop and polish inside the boot. As you can see inside, lovely clean condition. You've got your parcel shelf in there as well. Everything appears to be in good order. Locking wheel, not everything there. Obviously no spare wheel with the BMW. And moving round to the near side rear tyre. Taking a good look there, easily a good 5-6mm to six millimeters of tread. And looking at the rear alloy on the near side. Again taking a good look at the condition, couple of scratches but no curbing or any scuff marks there. Around the rear arch again some light scratches, going to need a bit of a mop and polish. Looking down the near side of the body. Again, I can't see any dinks or dents at all down there. Rear door edge again is fine, stone chips all located here on the rear arch. Good mop and polish on the rear door. Same in the front door as well. A couple of touch-ins located along the door here, so a couple of touch-ins there. And if we can see along the door here, you've got quite a few stone chips located all on the bottom of the door. And then touch-ins all along the, uh, the door edge here as well, so looks like a couple of car park nicks, etc. Mirrors fine, front arch again, some light stone chips around the arch as well as some scratches. The one here has slightly took the paint off, um, so it might need a bit of a, a touch in there as well. Front tyre, easily good 4 to 5 millimetres there as well. And looking at the front alloy on the near side, again lovely condition with no curbing or scuff marks there. And moving around to the front end of the car. Now of course there is quite a few stone chips, you've got front parking sensors there as well. No signs of any damage at all to the front end of the vehicle and again, like I said, just quite a few stone chips on the car, as you'd expect really from a car of its age. Stone chips on the bonnet as well, so some touch-ins needed there, but like I said, no damage at all to the front end. And taking a look at the interior of the car. Inside you've got the full black leather interior and it looks in a lovely condition, very tidy with no signs of any damage and the leather looks very well for its age. Back of the seats are all in nice condition, even the carpets and mats are lovely and clean. Looking at your driver's seat, again, great condition. A little bit of wearing there on the bolster, but again, it's just age-related marks. Same on the inside of the bolster there as well. Electric memory seats on the driver's seat. Automatic headlights, rain-sensitive wipers, and stepping inside the car. 
Front passenger seat's also in a lovely condition with nothing at all to report there. Looking at your sense console dash, you've got the nice dark wood finish. Um, no real marks at all there, looks clean. Steering wheel's got a little bit of wearing around there, again it's just age related really. Um, we do have two sets of keys with the car, as you can see here, so I'll just show you those. You've got two sets of keys with the vehicle. Look at the display here whilst I start the vehicle. As you can see, no issue at all starting the car. And you've got a warning light indicating there, so just be wary of that. 43,542 miles on the clock, and also a restraint warning light there as well. Very low mileage on uh, the car for its age though. No engine management lights or anything like that. As you can see, restraint system, uh, function of airbags, belt tensioners and belt force limits is faulty. Um, so just be wary of that. Apart from that, you've got your radio and your navigation, which do work perfectly fine. As you can see, there's the nav. And if we just go over to the radio, nothing at all wrong with the sound. It has got the loudspeaker system inside. Blowers work fine, air conditioning comes on lovely and cold, and you've also got heated seats in the vehicle, which again work perfectly fine. Looking at the documents now, we're looking at the V5, we're looking at two owners on the car. It does come with an MOT, which expires here 18th of January 2017, so it's just had an MOT, no advisories there either, which is brilliant. And looking at your service history, now there's no service book, uh, we've confirmed two services. And the last one was at 31,000 miles on the 2nd of 2013. So it does require a service now, probably. Uh, but there's two services with the car, but no service book. Um, so just be wary of that. There you go, that's the 2009 BMW X5 30DM Sport. Lovely low mileage car with service history and some nice spec.